as we get older, our bones get weaker. So part of the prevention of fractures is strengthening your bones, which can be done with weight-bearing exercise, including walking or light weight lifting. Uh, also activities such as fall prevention, looking around your home to, to uh, limit the ways that people can fall and injure themselves uh, as you get older. So depending on where you have your fragility fracture, your treatment might be different. In the upper extremity, fragility fractures often happen around the wrist or the shoulder. And in older patients, we often treat these without surgery. In the lower extremity, whether it's the hip, which is the most common area, these are almost exclusively treated with surgery because the goal is to get the patient moving and walking so that you avoid all the other complications that can happen from being in bed too long, such as blood clots and bed sores and pneumonia. What a patient can expect after a fragility fracture is a time period where your activity is more limited. If you had a surgery for a hip fracture, for example, you will often go through physical therapy to regain your strength and almost surpass the strength that you had previously so that you can prevent falls in the future. Um, with the upper extremity, you're often immobilized in some way to stabilize the fracture until it's healed. And then again, we often refer you to physical therapy so that you can regain your strength and functionality.